We've waited a very long time to see the all-new Jeep Wrangler, and here it finally is at the LA Auto Show. This is the JL generation of the Wrangler, and Jeep promises it's got more of everything, more technology, more features, more efficiency, but crucially, less weight. Let's dive in and look at the biggest changes for the new Wrangler. The new Wrangler is about 200 pounds lighter than before, and half of that weight loss comes from using aluminum for a lot of the body panels, things like the doors and the hood, although the rear fenders and the sport bars are still made of steel for extra durability. The other half of the weight loss comes from the new frame. It uses more advanced high strength steel, so it is more rigid than the old Wranglers, but it still is 100 pounds lighter. And for even more weight savings, this tailgate is now made from a combination of aluminum and magnesium. There are three different top choices for the new Wrangler. There's still a hard top, and the soft top, most importantly, has been redesigned so it's so much easier to disassemble. In fact, on the four-door model, as you can see, you can take off all the side panels but still have the roof for protection like this. The third top option is a powered soft top, a Jeep Wrangler first. Okay, if I'm honest, it's a little bit more like a big powered fabric sunroof, but it's still a cool option for people who want the ability to let more sunlight into their Wrangler without having to pull panels off like in the traditional soft top. Now, if you've ever driven the last generation Wrangler, you know that visibility out of it was not necessarily fantastic. So every piece of glass in the new one is bigger to improve visibility. And for the first time ever, there's a backup camera and it's included as standard. Other safety gear includes pre-collision braking, and for the first time, there's blind spot warning, with the monitors mounted here in the taillights. The standard Wrangler's engine remains a 3.6-litre V6, although its automatic transmission now has eight speeds. But there's a new engine too, it's this two-litre turbocharged inline four, and it's got a mild hybrid system to help further improve fuel economy. This one sadly will only be available with the automatic. The manual transmission is going to be exclusive to the V6. Now a few years down the line, Jeep also promises that there will be a three-litre turbo diesel option for the Wrangler. We don't have any more specs on that at the moment, but I'm very excited to learn more about it. At first glance, you might not think much has changed inside the interior, but the more you look around, the more you'll realize that this is probably the nicest Wrangler interior you've ever seen. All the materials in here look and feel great, and in this particular Rubicon model, I really like this red reticle trim on the dashboard. I like that there are now auxiliary switches for you to plug in your own electronics like lights, radios, or winches and so on, as well as updated connectivity like USB ports and an aux port. And new repositioned switches means it's easier to use features like the electronic locking differentials or the sway bar disconnect. Capability is of course important to Wrangler drivers, and it has improved on this model. This is the Rubicon, the most off-road focused one, and for starters it's got 33-inch off-road tires, which are bigger than they've ever had from the factory before, and the fenders are mounted higher for all that extra clearance. In fact, Jeep says that this vehicle's package protected, that you could put a 2-inch lift on it and 35-inch tires without screwing anything up, which is great for people in the aftermarket. The Rubicon also has an improved crawl ratio for intense off-roading as well. It's now 84 to 1 in low range versus 73 to 1 in the old model. Now, a lot of Jeep guys love to fold down the windshield on their Wrangler when they're off-roading, but on the old one, the JK, it was a real pain to do so. You had to undo 28 bolts, and most people probably didn't bother. You only have to undo four bolts, and this windshield folds down easily, rests on the footman loops. And best of all, the Wrangler even comes with the tool required <laughs> to undo those bolts and a bracket to hold the windshield down securely here while you're driving off-road. So, as you can see, the Jeep Wrangler has been reimagined from head to toe, but it hasn't abandoned any of the things that made people love it, whether they were driving to the beach or going off-road. Now, the new Wrangler goes on sale in the start of 2018, and I'm really looking forward to doing something like this with it. We're going to have a first drive of the Wrangler for you as soon as possible, but until then, you can find even more information and literally hundreds of photos on this car at motor1.com.